My lab at the NIH investigates parasites that cause disease in people. Um, specifically, I'm working on a couple of um, coccidian parasites. Uh, their names are Toxoplasma, Neospora, Sarcocystis, and these are agents that are active in brain and spinal fluids of a wide variety of different um, animal hosts, including people. And they um, cause disease um, such as uh, they can cause encephalitis and they can cause just mild flu-like symptoms. Um, and, and the majority of animals that get infected with them uh, survive and have chronic infections for life. And in fact, about 25% of people in the United States are chronically infected with this parasite, Toxoplasma. And these parasites are um, products of, of some definitive hosts. And so a cat is the one that is able to um, disseminate Toxoplasma in nature. Uh, whereas for Sarcocystis, Neurona, which is one agent we'll talk about, um, it's really disseminated by the opossum and, and Neospora. Um, caninum is disseminated by dogs in the environment. I, I first became interested in marine mammals when um, the southern sea otter, which is a federally listed threatened species in the late 1990s, um, started to show up on, on stranding on the coast of California with encephalitic disease. And this was consistent with a protozoal agent that I study that we find is common in cats and opossums on land. And we decided to um, ask the question, were these parasites that we found in the otters actually Toxoplasma and Sarcocystis? And, and so we developed some molecular tools to take an assumptionless approach and, and ask, the parasites that we could pull out of the otters, were they in fact Toxoplasma? And indeed, when we did the molecular analyses, it proved that they were. And then it became a very interesting question from our point of view, how is it that these land parasites were getting disseminated and transported into the marine environment, picked up by the otters, and causing these fatal infections? So Toxoplasma and these other coccidian parasites like Neospora and Sarcocystis have definitive hosts. And in these definitive hosts, they have a sexual cycle. So for Toxoplasma, that's the cat. And it can be any cat. It can be your domestic kitty cat that's in your house. It can be a feral cat that's patrolling your neighborhoods. And it can be a wild cat, a bobcat, a mountain lion. Um, so any cat can amplify this parasite. And when this and when a cat eats prey that's infected with Toxoplasma, it undergoes a sexual cycle. And when, it, when that parasite gets into the gut of the cat, it can be amplified up to 100 million copies. And so what ends up happening is that the cat acts as this amplification vessel for the parasite. And, and when the cat sheds in its feces these oocysts, or egg-like structures, um, what's important is that they're highly stable in the environment. Um, they're, they're resistant to chlorine bleach, so standard methods of, of chlorine uh, treatment of water don't work. In fact, they actually activate the um, um, oocysts and make them more infective. And importantly, when one cat produces 100 million oocysts and they get deposited in the environment, then these can actually get into water sources or be picked up when, with grazing animals, herbivores that are chomping on the grass. And, and importantly, only a single oocyst is required to initiate an infection. So there's a massive amplification um, and, and potential for contamination of the environment. A large number of people do get chronically infected with this, and it's not typically a life-threatening disease. Um, there have been some strains that have been identified as, as causing um, virulent infections in people, but we usually find them in parts of the Amazon jungle and, and in Brazil. And we haven't found those types of strains in the United States. And importantly, um, although chlorine bleach doesn't kill the parasite, just heating it um, up to 60 degrees is, is sufficient to kill it. And or filtering your water. So as long as you filter your water, or you cook your meat, or you boil your water, you, you have no problems with this parasite.